Good morning, Port Director. Welcome to the Packer Avenue Marine Terminal. And we wanted to show you a couple of the things that we're doing here today, especially as it relates to the mission of safety, efficiency, and movement of cargo through the ports of Philadelphia. The main north-south trade into Philadelphia is based on food products. So this is feeding the American heartland. It's feeding the East Coast. In an overnight truck ride, we can reach 130 million people. So this is a, an operation that's a partnership. It's a partnership between the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and it's also a partnership between the men and women of CBP, of the USDA, of Coast Guard, at the regulatory side, making sure that we're able to do this efficiently, safely, and within the rule of law of the United States of America. We couldn't do it without the people of CBP. Thank you, Mr. Holt. As you know, the area port of Philadelphia, which I cover, consists of 16 very busy subports. One of them being the port of Philadelphia, which is an agricultural hub. In addition to the bananas, the grapes, the mangoes, did you know in March alone, we imported over $840 million of produce it's through the port of Philadelphia? The tale starts here at the ship side. The ship side, it moves to a warehouse. From the warehouse, it moves to a grocer or to a wholesale distributor. And along the way, men and women are getting jobs driven from it. Not just the great jobs that happen at CBP and the other government agencies, but jobs that happen in the port, in the warehouses, in the supermarkets, in the trucks. So this uh, port director is very typical of what happens every single day here with a very high velocity. Container backed in, it's locked into a pedestal so that it can't roll away from a safety point of view. This bridge comes down, the seals are broken in front of your ag specialist so they understand and record the seal number that comes from the container, and then we go to work. This investment, along with the Port of Philadelphia, is why this over $200 million investment is, has made this facility the premier ag terminal on the east coast of the United States. It is the people of the Longshoremen's Union that provide the skill and the handling, the shippers from places like New Zealand, and here products from Peru, Chile, New Zealand, Australia, Uruguay, uh, Argentina, come through every single week. So this is one of the only facilities in the United States that is SQF certified. So we have a food safety certification in an on-the-dock marine terminal handling operation. That's also part of the philosophy that we share with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania about bringing food safety and marrying it with food security. You can see, uh, you know, just looking at this is state-of-the-art inspection facility. I mean, the, the lighting in here is it's like you're standing out in, in daylight. The port, the port Authority, Port of Philadelphia as a whole, is investing over $300 million in infrastructure just to keep the flow of cargo moving as quickly as possible. The economic security and the safety of the, of the nation depend on imports such as this to make sure that it reaches the, the, the shelves. And facilities such as this, especially in the port that is number one in the nation, in, in produce imports, extremely important for our folks such as agricultural specialists with facilities like this to conduct their inspections. Their function is extremely important to, to the folks in the United States because they're ensuring that there are no pests, there's no blemishes on the fruit, there's no viruses or what have you uh, that can contribute onto our crops to ensure the American public while they're consuming the goods is, is fine, as well as our American agricultural business, which is also large on the export side. Well, we're grateful for your visit, but more importantly, we're grateful for their visits every single day. And uh, we apologize in advance for keeping you so busy. Area Director Martella, welcome to Tioga 5. This is our newest forest products warehouse in the Port of Philadelphia. It's a 100,000 square foot, $11 million warehouse that we just opened up this week. Uh, most people don't know that the Port of Philadelphia handles over a million tons of forest products. Uh, today we're joined with the Vice President, the operating company, which is known as Delaware River Stevedores. Here and behind us, we have uh, eucalyptus pulp. Eucalyptus pulp is, is used in a variety of products, high, personal hygiene products, everything from paper towels to diapers to toilet paper. We sell three things in the Port of Philadelphia, uh, velocity, proximity, and flexibility. Let me turn over to Andy, see if he could add something to the operations here at Tioga. Thanks, Sean. Uh, yeah, we're very proud that we're able to handle 
eucalyptus pulp. Like Sean had mentioned, it's used in a number of consumer products from tissues, paper towels, things of that nature. Very good. So this just shows the diversity of the area port that we have. Now, earlier today, one of our other facilities, we were talking about us being an agricultural hub. And now we're talking about the pulp that's coming in uh, from overseas. That's going into manufacturing, being a place of raw materials needed to manufacture personal hygiene products, which is so needed, especially during this pandemic. And it's going right from here into manufacturing those products, which is going to our store shelves. Just another example on how CBP and our partners at the Port of Philadelphia are working together to support the American public, the economic security, while the men and women of CBP are ensuring the health and safety of the American public as well. The area Port of Philadelphia is open for business.